Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. Let us do psychology of sex versus science of sex. Historically, sex has been one of the most talked about topics in society. Researchers and scientists have explored its psychological and physiological effects for many years. Interestingly, their findings suggest that sex is much more than just a physical act. It may relate to our overall mental health and well-being. Understanding the intricacies of sex can be complicated, however, with physical, physiological and cultural components influencing our experience and attitudes surrounding sexuality. It can be helpful to take a step back and educate ourselves about what's happening behind the scenes. We will look at the science and physiological behind sex, examining how it acts on both our minds and bodies so you can better understand its power over us. Whether you are curious or just looking for knowledge that helps make conscious decisions, let's explore together. The physical effects of sex can go much further than people may think. Recent research has suggested that engaging in sexual activity can have a variety of implications for our bodies, both of which can be positive or negative. Interestingly, sex can lead to, lead to an increase of arousal and pleasure, as well as increased heart rate and higher blood pressure. Sex is also known to cause an increase in hormones such as oxytocin, which plays an essential role in the understanding of and the development of relationships. This shows that although sex is often thought of as an act primarily experienced between two partners seeking a sense of physical satisfaction, there are more far-reaching effects of sex on our bodies than the average person may initially believe. Psychological effects of sex. Researchers and scientists have been exploring the psychological and physiological effects of sex for many years. They have found that it can affect our mental health, well-being and physical bodies. Studies on the psychological effects of sex have revealed several potential health benefits for example, one of the studies found that engaging in regular sexual activity can improve mood, reduce levels of stress and help to increase self-confidence. Furthermore, evidence uh, suggests sex could help with anxiety, depression and relationship satisfaction. Such findings offer an exciting insight into how healthy sexual behavior can improve our overall mental health. Cultural effect of sex. Depending on the outlook and background of a society, a certain sexual act can be seen as either something forbidden or commonly accepted. Psychology of sex, the science behind us, behind sex. For centuries, researchers have tried to understand the science of human sexuality from hormones and brain chemistry to evolutionary pressure, there are a plethora of biological factors that influence our sexual behavior. Hormonal impact. Hormones drive sexual desire. The first factor we will discuss in is hormones, which play a significant role in driving sexual desire. For example, testosterone is one of the primary hormones influencing sexual arousal and libido in both men and women. As testosterone level increases, so too does sexual interest, which explains why people tend to experience an increase of libido during their teenage years when testosterone production is at its peak. Other hormones such as estrogen are essential part of managing sexual desire. Pressure start in the brain. Brain chemistry impact human sexuality. Another critical factor in understanding human sexuality is brain chemistry. Regarding sex, dopamine and oxytocin 
are two essential neurotransmitters influencing behaviors. Dopamine helps control pleasure-seeking behaviors, while oxytocin creates feelings of connections between partners. This means that when we engage in specific sexual activities or interact with someone romantically, our brains release these chemicals, creating positive feelings that reinforce our behavior and encourage us to seek similar experience again. Understanding Sexual Performance Anxiety Sexual anxiety can be desired as a fear of sexual performance or an inability to relax during intimate moments with your partner. It's common for people to feel anxious about sex, but when that feeling of fear is persistent, it can interfere with relationships and personal happiness. Possible causes of sexual anxiety. What are they? There are many potential causes of sexual anxiety. Some of them may be psychological, while others could be physical. Common psychological causes of sexual anxiety include worries about performance or the fear of rejection from a partner. Physical causes of sexual anxiety may include low libido, erectile dysfunctions, menopause, and more. Symptoms of sexual anxiety. Sexual anxiety can manifest in both mental and physical supports. Mentally, individuals experience sexual anxiety may feel ashamed for a or are embarrassed about their bodies to have difficulty concern, concentrating or focus, focusing on the moment. Physically, they may experience tension of the body, lack of interest in sex or intimacy, trouble achieving orgasm, erectile dysfunctions and vaginal dryness among other possible symptoms. Treatment for sexual anxiety based on the psychology of sex. Fortunately, several treatments are available in help many symptoms of sexual anxiety that is cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, can help modify negative thoughts, patterns, and behaviors associated with sexual anxiety. Relaxation techniques such as deep breathing exercises and guided, imaginary, guided imagery can also help reduce levels of stress before engaging in intimate activities with a partner. Additionally, couples Counseling is a great way to discuss any underlying issues related to communications breakdown, breakdown that may contribute to feeling of shame around surrounding sex and intimacy. Drug therapies are also available, which may be beneficial for those dealing with the physical issues that cause lower libido, such as hormone replacement therapy. therapy. Now, we further discuss about uh, psychology of sex versus science of sex. The psychology of sex focused on the emotional, cognitive, and relational factors influencing human sexual properties and satisfaction, while the science of sex or sexology is a broader interdisciplinary field examining all aspects of human sexuality, including biological functions, development, behave, development, behavior, health, and social impact. In essence, the psychology of sex is a subset of the science of sex, with a particular emphasis on the mental and emotional processes involved. Now we'll talk summarized about uh, psychology of sex. Focus, psychological, emotional, and relational aspect of sexuality. One of the topics, thought, feeling, and relationship related to sexual experience, sexual satisfaction, desire, and behaviors, cultural understandings of sex, including issues like sexualization and sex addiction. Psychological aspects of sexual dysfunctions and therapies. Example, how stress and anxiety can affect sexual desire or how positive relationships 
dynamics contribute to sexual intimacy? Science of sex, that is sexology, focus a broad interdisciplinary study of human sexuality. What are the topics? Biology, reproduction, reproductive physiology, hormones, and sexual development. Psychology, you have described above the mental and emotional aspects, social and cultural norms, norms, laws, and cultural views on sexuality, health, sexually transmitted infections, that is STIs, and sexual health, behavioral topics, various sexual behaviors, sexual dysfunctions, and related issues like sexual abuse or addiction. Some example, biological, the biological mechanisms of arousal and social impact of sexual activity and the study of sexual health and disease. Key difference and relations between science of sex as well as psychology of sex. The science of sex is the over, overarching field that uses biological, psychological, and sociological approaches to understand sexuality in its entirety. The psychology of sex is a specialized area within this broader science, focusing specifically on the mental processes, thought, and feelings associated with sex. So far, we discussed about psychology of sex versus the science of sex we have done please subscribe our youtube channel